Hey, I'm the basement engineer, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on my Tesla coil. The last time I ran it, I had um, a few neon sign transformers that totaled out at about 700 watts. Since then, I have modified them, and I've upped the power to 1.4 kilowatts. And I just wanted to share the results with you guys, because it's I think it's pretty cool. Um, if you guys want to learn how to make one of these, please subscribe to my channel. In the future, I will be detailing the process of how I went through and built this. But as a high school junior, I can say this was one of the best projects I've ever done. Just wanted to lead you guys through the basic components of this. Inside of this bucket, I have the two modified neon sign transformers. You can see that in a different project video. Um, to, for powering this whole thing, I have an outlet right here. I have a specialized high voltage cord that has um, male leads on both ends so that no one else can play with my high, high voltage equipment. This is the spark gap itself. It's a Richard Quit um, multiple spark gap and it's this microwave fan is what helps to cool it and blow out all the ionized gas. Inside of this bucket I have a bunch of capacitors they are just simple soda bottle, glass bottle capacitors. Um, if I had commercial capacitors, I could probably power this up even more. It's underperforming with this bucket here. This is the primary coil. One end of that goes to the spark gap, and the other end is connected directly to the capacitor. This itself is the secondary coil. This took a really long time to wind and even longer to coat with some polyurethane varnish. And the bottom end of this actually just connects directly to ground, which is back here. You can see there's the cable that connects to the bottom end of that. And it spirals all the way up. It's around 800 turns. It connects to the toroid with some aluminum tape. And the toroid is just some aluminum ducting with a copper rod sticking out of the top to act as a breakout point. And this setup seems to work pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. So this is the first light with my Tesla coil. Go. Three, two, one. Yep. Cool. <laughs>